Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today, we do a PNS guided sciatic nerve block at the popliteal fossa using a lateral approach. Lateral popliteal nerve block can be given for all the surgeries of lower limb at or below the knee as sole anesthesia in conjunction with a femoral or adductor canal block, especially useful when patients cannot be turned lateral or prone. Very important to know the evoked end motor response, what we should look for while doing a PNS guided lateral popliteal nerve block. The sciatic nerve divides into tibial and the common peroneal in the popliteal fossa at around 8 cm from the popliteal crease, which can be variable from patient to patient. The common peroneal is lateral to the tibial nerve. Common peroneal stimulation evokes a dorsiflexion and an inversion of the foot. The tibial, which is more desirable since it's the main nerve below the knee, gives a plantar flexion and an inversion of the foot. This is a common sitting position with one leg above the other. You can see the groove between the vestus lateralis and the biceps femoris the main two muscles between which our needle has to enter. The superior border of the patella is marked, then the popliteal or the knee crease and a groove is drawn from here in between the vastus lateralis and the biceps femoris with the leg in full extension and the patient in supine position. That's the groove between the vastus lateralis and the biceps femoris which can be made more prominent by internally rotating the leg or by giving a 30 degree flexion at the knee joint. From the knee crease the line is drawn in between the groove of the vastus lateralis and the biceps femoris muscles. From the knee crease at around 8 centimeters is your point of needle entry. You can take around 6 finger breaths. That is your point of needle entry. You can take it at around 10 centimeters also. Because the division of the sciatic into the uh, common peroneal and the tibial nerve can vary from patient to patient. And if you want to get both the tibial and the common peroneal nerve stimulation, you can go a little higher up. As an alternative, you can keep a pillow or a bolster at the knee to give the 30 degrees flexion at the knee, which can make the vastus lateralis more prominent. Okay, Keeping the thumb of the left hand in between the groove of vastus lateralis and the biceps femoris at around 8 centimeters from the knee crease using a 10 centimeter stimuplex needle flushed with LA. That is the knee crease. That is the groove at around 8 centimeters, go perpendicular between the vastus lateralis and the biceps femoris. Make yourself very comfortable so that the needle is perpendicular with the PNS current at around 1.5 milliampers. This is a thin patient at around 3 centimeters depth, get the end motor response of the tibial nerve, that is the plantar flexion and inversion. You can see that very clearly. Slowly, the current is reduced, keeping the needle in the same position and watching for contractions at the foot. You can see the Contractions disappearing at around 0.5 milliampers. Mm 
and reappearing again at point 6, which we accept and inject the current uh, LA, local anesthetic agent, after negative aspiration for blood. Either response, you can use a peroneal response also. It is adequate when the response is still present with a current intensity of less than 0.5 milliampers and as long as a large volume of local anesthetic, that is around 20 ml, is used. For the sole regional anesthesia technique using lateral popliteal nerve block in conjunction with a femoral or an adductor canal block, you can you should use higher concentration of drug that is 0.5 percentage bpivacaine or 0.75 percent bpivacaine with or without adjuncts. For pain relief, use 0.1 or 0.2 percent ropivacaine. Keep in mind that with higher concentrations, there can be foot drop, which hampers early ambulation, especially so when you are using this for TKR where they need the same day ambulation. Thank you so much. Hope you like this video. Please like and share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you so much.